Taurus, hi, uh, I'm Raven and welcome to the dungeon. Uh, so how many Taurus do we have on the list that should be right here, right now? I think we've got a few of them. Uncle Sverre, Uncle Sverre, hi, I'm here. Daddy, you've got Moon in Taurus. He's he's sorry to disappoint you, or sorry to be the disappointment of the family. Uh, who else do we got here? Shijin, Shijin. Maybe I see you in Kerala soon. Doesn't seem like I'm finding a new place to live right for now. So, India looks like India is winning. Not 100% sure yet, but Taurus, Taurus. Um, and uh, yeah, my old school teacher. Fluff off. Fluff off. I did not smoke any cigarettes that day. Who even gave you that idea? I was just getting my pants back. Yes, and I don't like church, so taking a break while the preacher is talking babble. It is in my right. So there you go, Taurus. <laughs> uh, do we have any other Tauruses? Uh, oh, let me count. Oh, Elizabeth, thank you for the tips. I love you so much. And uh, beautiful work, by the way. Ellie, Ellie, Ellie. Uh, not so many female Tauruses, I really know. Uh, except you, my darling cousin, Let Melissa. I hope everything is alright with you. Now, uh, now many other Tauruses. Uh, Taurus, 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 Taurus. You rule the neck. So, uh, real Taurus, you know, if you're Taurus the seven, you would come out as quite the butch, right? Um, yeah, I think Johnny Depp's got Moon in Taurus, so Gemini, Moon in Taurus. Yeah, well, that would be the introduction of the Taurus. Uh, uh, yes, and uh, Adolf Hitler was Taurus. Now, do we know about any saints? <laughs> Thin water here. Ooh, ah, oh. Okay. Uh, I have my south node in Taurus, so there, there. Now let's check out what's going on. There, there. Okay, so Taurus, you are ruled by the beautiful goddess Venus, so you are actually the lovers of the zodiac, apparently, to some scriptures I have here. Uh, you are fertile, you do love uh, a fundament, you know, security and safety. Uh, you are very tactile, everything beautiful that is external of you. You like to express beauty uh, in everything that is physical. You are excellent cooks and you really have taught me how to be more... Uh, of an authority. Yes, Uncle Svara, I'm referring to you. Oh yes, my other dad has got Taurus Moon as well. Oh, what do you know? Attention for the win. <laughs> Scorpio Taurus, 180 degree. Now let's check what's going on in your life, Taurus. So this would be a general read. Of course, it cannot resonate with all of you. Um, I will send you away if it doesn't fit you or you can feel free to, to walk when any time you want. But I think you want to hear this. I think you dig Scorpios, secretly Taurus, or do you not? Okay, let's go. Let's, 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 let's get this going. Okay, I just had to get it out of my system. You know when Taurus get angry? That's brutal. <laughs> Clearly I have a lot of things to say about Taurus. That's brutal. Although, oh yes, 
Joe. Joe. Oh my god, you get the same position as the, 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 the Gemini. Maybe some of you have Gemini in your chart, or maybe Gemini and Taurus have a thing going on, but it's the exact same effing placement. So I told you, Taurus, you are the lovers of the zodiac. How can I get wrong when Shiva himself there is confirming my course here, right? Oh yeah, another Taurus is popping up. Oh guys, you're brutal. Oh my, he was mean to his dog. If you're a, if you're a nice Taurus, really nice, please feel free to leave a comment below and say, I'm nice. <laughs> I'm nice. <laughs> and I'm not very stubborn at all. Mm -hmm. If it's a comfort, I'd out stubborn you. I dare you. Okay, who is in love with Taurus? Hmm. Could be a Sagittarius. Could be that some of you have a strong fire placement. If that's the case, you would be far more mutable than the very, very Taurus, 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 Taurus kind of thing. Um, this, this energy here, you know, Taurus are fixed. We like it like this, you know. Uh, I did date a Taurus, uh, and uh, there was never really issues between me and him, to be honest. Never. Never. He was a nice guy. Beautiful eyes, down to earth. It's just that. Uh, let's say I'm, I'm, I'm more, you know, in the sky, you know, he's really down to earth working and uh, it was lovely, lovely, lovely. Uh, just putting it out there that it was not really him that was the problem. Um, but yeah, Joe, Joe, there you go, I said it, never any issues. What is in your obstacles, Taurus? Okay, so we have six of coins. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Cups in reverse. There might be someone that you would really love to reunite with, but they're absent. They're absent. Could be this in and out energy here, this Sagittarian energy, fire energy, someone of fire, in and out, in and out. Could be a lover that is really in and out, not making up their mind. It is really annoying if you're a Taurus. Something we have in common with Taurus is that we are fixed. There we are, and that is okay. Place it there, and it looks good right there. You know, it's a in and out, in and out. Make up your effing mind. Well, you might be better off, Taurus. Oh, we got him. Eight of coins in reverse in your past. So there might be something some of you are working on, professionalizing, you know, getting better, mastering this task. Uh, maybe you were working together with someone, but this feels like you alone were really professionalizing something. And it didn't work out too well for you. Um, could be someone who interfered, but be careful with the blame game thing. So, in your near past, Taurus. All right. King of Swords. Maybe.
maybe some of you are into Japanese martial art. However, this king of sword is ruled by his head and not in not his heart. And he had to make a terrible decision here. Destroying himself blindfolded. With the, which is an ancient samurai practice slash Ronin again. Again and again. He tends to pop up a lot in the readings now this day. However, he is in reverse. So someone refused to make the sacrifice that was needed in order to achieve. What did you try to achieve? Maybe I should start luring you into those extended readings that some of those readers do. Because I'm curious, but I don't have forever. I don't know about you. I'm curious about that. Maybe he didn't get his black belt in karate, so he went home and just and ending it, you know, I'm ending it. Never know. Ooh, Taurus, you're popping up in your own read here. Someone wants to commit. Someone are ready to commit. But this, it's just this energy. Taurus, just like, oh, in and out, in and out. Are you, are you gonna, are you, are you going to stand still soon so I can kind of get a look at you at least? We can have a conversation so we talk about this. This is a spiritual teacher. It should belong to uh, Sagittarius, in my opinion, because those are the spiritual teachers of the Zodiac, not Taurus. Um, but again, I won't argue with the artist and the cone head here. Um, wow, this one's got Ganesh in his favor. So it seems like. Your salvation here, Taurus, is Lord Ganesh, speaking about Lord Ganesh and the power of Lord Ganesh. And uh, in general, if you have any obstacle, you have also the key, literally, in your forehead. There is something that you see, uh, and, and for many of you, uh, you could actually have a task which is to speak about spiritual matters. In a possible near future, the cards suggest Ten of Swords. Someone might betray you, Taurus. Uh, and it might uh, uh, say it's a possible outcome. It's a possible outcome. So whoever you have around you, I'd still be careful for that lover right there who is kind of in and out and don't really, they, 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 they don't, I, was it here? Yeah. Uh, be a little bit careful with that because uh, you know there is someone here who who will stab you in the back if you do not watch your step. Now that you know that it is a possible future, you have the opportunity to smack away whoever does not please the gut feeling within you. Just saying, not psychic reading the cards. In your surroundings, Taurus. Okay. Um. I feel like in this case, Taurus, that there are someone in your surroundings who are kind of forcing you into a choice uh, and you might not feel too great about it because you're not quite there. 
Uh, that's just one way of seeing it. Um, this is Aries energy. Um, there might be two people who you are juggling in between and it's confusing the hell out of you because you just want to stabilize yourself. Um, let's check how you are in this Taurus. Eight of Wands. Okay, someone needs to talk. Someone needs to talk. Someone needs to walk. Someone wants to travel, maybe even. Uh, Sagittarius energy has someone it seems like you have something on your mind Taurus that you are quite ready to talk about uh, if that's not the case it could be vice versa that, that there might be news coming in to you soon enough But from who? From who? I'm unlikely to put, put that in between there. Now, enough thumbs up and enough views. Please ask the question, I'll check it out. I'll be glad to. Okay. Um, in your obstacles, okay? of wands in reverse uh, maybe your lover needs the blue pill you know could be like that can indicate a loss of passion loss of fire loss of creativity uh, or like I said a partner that simply are incapable of delivering the goods um, could be an offering or an expectation f like something should be on the way in now it doesn't come uh, and yet again the ace of wands is in reverse now you can't rely on the blue pill forever can you let's check out four possible outcomes right Did you know, by the way, fun fact, fact, I don't know so much, but esoteric astrology, when Taurus is exalted, Venus will no longer be your ruler. It will be a planet which is not visible because it's on a higher vibration. It's called Vulcan, Vulcan. And I I think that sounds so awesome because the Scorpios, we just get the same planet. Mars, exalted in Mars, it's so boring, but you get Vulcan. Like, wow. Kind of jealous about that one, but you have to be exalted first. Oh, yeah, your possible outcomes. Sorry about that. Got carried away. You got six of coins, equal give and take, fair share. Looks like this fair share wouldn't come without some, you know, every rose has its thorns. Some of you might be ready for a new beginning in life, a new fresh start after you get your share, fair share of the six of coins. Uh, and there, there might be so that you're not quite sure because you have a lot of options in your new beginning. So you might get a little bit deluded about it and not quite sure where to go to the left or to the right. Scorpio energy. 
Aries, Scorpio, doesn't matter, it's still Seven of Cups. And you get Nine of Cups. So a wish fulfillment on your way, quite possible. Yes, if you feel this is your story or very close upon, then yes, all you have to do now is click yes on the like button and then yes, you have the Nine of Cups coming. Don't be too smug about it, but some of you actually deserve it. Um, still there is something hidden to you with the Lunar here, with the Moon card here. Uh, and there is actually the truth behind a situation is hidden uh, and this has to do with justice something that might have been unjust someone was juggling and it seems like this was a karmic cycle some of you might have been dealing with uh, this might be a lover or someone but she's known to be the mistress she is after all the queen of wands fiery energy someone who are a little bit attention seeking quite the bee i don't get my way so you go the highway taurus so i think this woman could be or the female male non-gender specific could be your high horse of fire there who don't get their way with Taurus so everything's gonna burn so I might want to look out for that Taurus um, but there is a transformation here on its way all right uh, let's close it up with a an advice for you from the oracles okay Is that weird or is it not weird? So while well, Yin is falling out of the stack, Yang is popping up from the card I was picking. So your answer to the question would be Yin and Yang. Now, if that ain't obvious to you, I could explain it to, to you. Yin and Yang, two opposing forces here balanced in their energy. So if you feel imbalanced, well, find a way how to balance it. That is what these cards are speaking of. All right. I wish you the best. And if you want a bonus on that one, well, please feel free to like and share. So the views go up. Okay. See you later, Taurus. I wish you a beautiful spring and a beautiful summer. Take care. Namaste.